Welcome back guys and thank you for joining me in another little episode here in Status Factory. This is our last playthrough, last factory, episode 9. Um, today we're gonna take care of the power because at this point we have something like a thousand and a half, two thousand megawatts to play with and that thing's charged jing in there. I think it's charged already actually. But it's a hundred berries. At some point they will run out. I don't know so I did some let's say work I put in there you see it the big power bolts okay and they're going through there through there through there through there, through there in there we're gonna take those nodes so we have in here two pure nodes and two normal ones that means we can have in there uh, 1800 oil that we can turn into fuel and burn it in these amazing fuel generators i put in here at the to-do list 100 refineries 100 fuel power generators and 100 assemblers thinking that i want to do turbo fuel but i have a little big issue in here let me show you so i put in here two refineries not powered not anything just to see the rates you know so if your friend is taking uh we're gonna do it with heavy oil because the recipe it's a lot better um let me show you. so if you make fuel out of oil it's like what 75 percent okay so from 60 you get 40. but if you turn that one into heavy oil residue already you get more heavy oil okay so you get 40 out of 30 that will mean 80 heavy oil and then if you turn in the heavy oil you get a lot more okay so it's like 50 fuel maybe more i'm not good with the math at this hour you really have to excuse me anyway that's the recipe we're gonna use we're gonna get to the the, the other side in a second where was that in here so we have 1800 well right 1800 divided by 30 we're gonna need 60 refineries okay we're gonna put down 60 refineries we're gonna have uh multiply 40 so multiply 40 we're gonna have 2400 heavy oil risk and then obag thought okay we're gonna make turbo fuel with that so divided by 37.5 because the rates are like that whatever doesn't matter 37.5 that's another 64 refinery we're at 124 it doesn't matter the number of refineries okay even if it's 500 it's fine what it matters it's that we're gonna have uh 64 refineries each one pissing out 30 turbo fuel amazing okay 1920 turbo fuel so I don't remember how much each fuel generator consumes. I know they consume 20 for the normal fuel, regular, okay? So they consume less. Let's say, let's say 20 for the sake of it. Okay, it's gonna be 96 of these guys, fuel generators. I don't know how much power it is. It's a bunch, it doesn't really matter. What it matters is that we're gonna have 1920. It's amazing, I love it. I want to do it but at the same time this 64 refineries are gonna require 30 always compacted coal okay so we're gonna need 1920 compacted coal and now comes the issue compacted coal is made in a cylinder but a coal and sulfur so 1920 minutes nothing more nothing less okay we're gonna need a bunch of these guys it's fine okay a hundred of them i don't give i don't care it's fine the issue is we're gonna need 1920 coal and 1920 sulfur now where the heck am i gonna find that okay because in here uh first things first we don't have unlocked those 
Majigis, where are the doors in here? Because guess what? Words. We're not producing those, those, or those. Okay, so I have some as drops. Maybe we could unlock this, but I could maybe build one, two, at best. So first we gotta define this production. This production takes power for each one of them. I don't wanna build one per second. Or two or two per minute. Whatever. No. I don't have normal factory, so uh, I don't know where they are. Okay. Uh I know. I know, I know. We used to have in here good notes. We don't have them anymore. We have in here one impure. I'm talking about the sulfur, by the way. We have one impure here, one impure here. Those are crap. Okay. Between the two of those, we're gonna get like 300 per minute. We have a normal in here, 600 per minute. Uh, that's about all that I can remember. I think we have one more around here ish, which is normal, pure. Let's say 1200. What about the rest of 600 something? Well, out here in the desert, we have two pure nodes between those two. It's 1000, uh, 1200. So that could be enough. Let's not forget that we're gonna need sulfuric acid for a bunch of stuff to build. That's gonna happen around the map. I don't know exactly where. It's gonna happen at some point, but... I don't know. I don't know how to do this. We have in here... Three nodes. One is pure, one is normal, one is impure. So it's gonna be like a thousand fifty. We got out here... Out here a pure sulfur and a pure coal we got in here a bunch no wrong in here next to the swamp what the heck is that swamp this is a swamp okay so we got in here and in here a bunch of coal nodes which are mostly impure and i think it, there's another sulfur in here there's another Two sulfurs around here ish. There's another normal one in here, or pure, I don't remember. Uh, another pure in here, and that's about it. No more sulfur nodes, maybe one around here. But we have in here three pure coal nodes, so that's good. Let's say we got 1800 coal, that's gonna cover our needs for the turbo fuel. But let's not forget that we're gonna need them um, for the aluminum as well because it's gonna happen in here. But between those three pure, we got in here, not in here, another pure, normal, normally impure. I don't remember. Maybe another pure in here. So we're gonna collect all this coal. It's gonna be enough both for the aluminum and for the turbo fuel. We're kind of missing the sulfur, and I don't remember exactly where it is. So, before doing the turbo here, we'll have to define the production for computers, for heavies, heavy money frames, and for... What else was it? Computer heavy. Okay, take something else, I don't remember. This one. Let me take a pick. Sulfur. Uh, quartz. Heavy, oh, crystal oscillators, amazing. We're gonna need to make a bunch of those. So, the idea is, unable to make that turbo fuel. Nevertheless, I still wanna do it. Now, there are two recipes for turbo fuel. Normally, this is the way I would've went right now, but there is another one, which you make it with fuel, okay? The rates are not that great. Well, actually, they're just about the same, but they take a little more, a little less compacted coal, which is very good for our situation. You make it out of fuel. So this one will adapt very good to our situation right now, but not now. It's going to be amazing when we're going to have the blenders, because in the blenders, we're going to be able to have the diluted fuel recipe, which is made out of this amazing stuff, which we already established, we have 2400, you put water in it, and you get a bunch of fuel. 
And then that bunch of fuel, we're gonna take it, we're gonna combine it with the compact coal, which is not gonna be, it's like, what, 60%? Make a bunch more turbo fuel, which we're gonna burn, and we're gonna burn this guy of satisfactory, and we're gonna have a billion megawatts of power in here, but it's such a long run there. Yeah. <laughs> so, we're gonna deal with the power, but we're gonna do it in a slow pace. First, we're gonna put 60 of this down, we're gonna have 2,400 heavy residue. And then we're gonna take that residue and turn it into fuel. It is what it is. So, 40. Um, we will have 2,400 of those divided by 60. We're gonna need another 40. That's why we have in here another refinery. So we're going to have 40, 1,600 fuel divided by 20. That means 80 generators. So got to modify that. Um, power. Only 80 of you. Still is going to be amazing. Okay. 80. Just make it multiplier to 80 multiplier 250. It's going to be something like 20,000 power. Okay, so that's 40 refineries, 40 refineries multiplied by 40 fuel, uh, 1,600. Now, since the being 60, we're talking about two pure, two impure, that's three pure, that, that's gonna be like three batches, okay, just to deal with that. We're gonna need mark the pipes. That's why I picked from the drops. I still have 25 in here. Uh, and they put in here the head. Okay, so we're gonna send this boy up just to help mark the pipes. Amazing, Milestone I know. Milestone reached. Pipelines and pipeline pumps can now be upgraded to Mark 2. They are like Mark 1, but better. Pipes seem to be objects of fascination to humans. In fact, there are recorded instances of humans doing nothing but thinking about pipes for hours. <laughs> That's one of me. I'm one of those. So I'm gonna grab some moles in here. By the way, this guy is filled up because they put some summer slips on that guy. And he's been juggling around for hours. The rest I think we kind of find. Uh, not only did I put the pipe engine in there, okay, no, I did more than that, not the pipe engine, uh, the power, I brought the power in there, but I did more than that, I put in there, I think the oil extractors, each one with the buffer in the faces for the pure ones, and I merged the impure ones, those have a buffer in the faces as well, and... I made the huge platform. Divided it in three sections. You're gonna see it in a minute. Thinking that I will have the place to put I don't know, 20 refineries for each oil node making the heavy. After that, I don't know, 14, 14 refineries for each batch making fuel. And uh, after that, put a bunch of generators. I don't know if it's gonna be enough the space or not because I don't have that many concrete or plates on me, nothing like that. No, well, the dimensional depot it's working. It's, this thing is gonna be fine and maybe it's gonna be fine. I don't know. I'm gonna get you, meet you guys up here and we'll talk more. So, this is the place with the bauxite. It's one node in here, one node up in there somewhere. I don't know. I think they're down there. Uh, oh, aluminum sheets. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Excuse me, just a second. I just uh, hide the butt. <laughs> Excuse me. I just found something amazing here. Uh, let me just uh, do that. I need to pick up. It's fine. Let me just put those up because I don't have them. This is how I got the heavies. By the way, uh, are you easy to open? No. Well, forget about you. Um, okay, so. Bauxite, one in there, one up there. Uh, the bauxite, aluminum production, basically. It's gonna happen somewhere down here. I don't know exactly where. 
uh, thinking this way, going that way. Yes, only that. We're gonna take those two Imperial Call nodes in there. The other three pures are next to those three lakes, which are far away in the back in there. And we have up on that ridge two normals, I believe. In the back in there, another pure, another normal far away next to that one, another pure call. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Now, let's take a peek at what they did here. Let me get in here. So I took that one, it's a pure because it has a big buffer in his face. That's how I remember. That one, it's a no. Yeah, that one, it's a normal small buffer. Normal small buffer. That one, it's a pure. That one, it's a pure. This two, we're gonna treat them in here as a single pure. That one in there. That one in there. Now let's try. Let's try. It's just try and remember that at some point we want to turn this setup in here into turbo fuel. Uh, th that's the platform for the genies. So, not only that we want to make turbo fuel, but we want to make diluted fuel because we want more, more, and more, and more, more for BAG, more power. Stupid, I know. What is the truth? So, basically, basically, that diluted fuel is made in blenders. I'm thinking they're gonna be in there, in the back. I leave that space, we're gonna put in there some water extractors because we're gonna need a bunch. We have the place to put them in there, in there, in there, doesn't matter where. Or the heavy oil is gonna be pushed from this 20 here, from those 20 which are gonna go in there, with those 20 which are gonna go in there. Three separate lines, they're gonna go into those blenders in there, merge with the water from everywhere, and then push turbo fuel. No, push the fuel on the same line in there, okay? And then, <laughs> at some point, I think, and the same blenders will be able to put the compacted coal, which I'm thinking to put in there somewhere. Yeah, uh, plug in the compacted coal in them with all that bunch of fuel. So it's gonna circle around or something like that. I don't know. And then it's gonna go into even more fuel generators, which are gonna go that way. Crazy, isn't it? So we're starting today with 20,000 megawatts. I don't know how much we're gonna end. Probably double. I doubt it. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what, where this one is getting us. Let me get down there. And see what exactly can we do about this. So, we see that this guy is pushing 300. That guy 300. Between two of them is 600. The same guy, that guy is 600. That guy is 600. So, each one of them in these batches, let's call them. It's gonna need 20 refineries in the faces, okay? I have my blueprints. That ain't gonna be difficult. Problem. My blueprints are not well designed. Uh, this is my entry. Which one? Let's see. Stacks. This is my entry. Uh, so like that. I have in there some speeders. Some merges. Some magis. I'll have to delete them. It is what it is. So I'm gonna put them in there somehow. I don't know. Apparently, this is kind of the middle. We're gonna need five. I'm gonna begin from there because I want them to pump in one in. So one batch, two, three, four, five. Yeah, well, I'm gonna start from there, from that platform. And then after we put down this one, we're gonna need to put another 13. In the front or something like that because it's 40 divided by 3 so it's 13 for 14 let's call it one four for each and every single batch so this platform will have 34 34 in there 34 in there now this is gonna be a chore I don't want to keep it in here a million years until I 
put all of these guys down how they should be put and then some idiot is gonna have to delete all those <laughs> lifts all those splitters all those everything in the front and in the back and then put the next batch in the next batch in the next batch so i'm gonna press the magic button cut the video right now catch you guys back when i'll put all of these guys in here okay okay let's go well guys it's been something like three hours i want to say i'm tired <laughs> a lot of jumping around here uh everything is set so we got in here 20 we got in there 14 one of them is reduced to make i don't know if i remember how much uh, same thing repeats three times and then it's going all of those all of those are filled up let me hide that for you uh let's get down there show me easy but the one i hurt you so all the resin comes in here and getting synced okay well, uh, I stored some. This is the only line that has one of those containers in there. It's called where they fill up, what you know. All the resin goes through there. These boys are making the heavy residue, which the pipe is crooked, but let's pretend we didn't see that. The others are not, because I pay more attention to it. So, we're pumping. Let me up. We're pumping from there, from here, from here, and from here. Basically, that whole line pumps in four points into this line. We have in there a buffer of heavy oil filled up. We have in there a buffer of heavy oil filled up. This is the line which has two small buffers for the oil, the others have a big. Uh, it is what it is, it's gonna stay like this. Fuel is being pumped out of all of these guys. No, no, nothing else. No resin, no nothing else. That is the main line. That is the secondary line. It feeds from three, four points into that buffer, which has fuel. And then there are written 533.33 fuel. That's the output of each batch of these guys in here yeah amazing now that guy this guy identical there's some differences compared with this one we don't have small buffers we have one big buffer of oil in here one big buffer of oil in there same thing with the buffer of heavy oil everything is getting synced one big buffer of heavy oil and another big buffer of heavy oil everything is filled up this one this boy, the same, it's pumping in there. This is the buffer of fuel, which should be filled up because everything is stopped. And it is. Same stuff in there, everything is getting filled up. The pipes are coming through here. So the buffers for fuel living here at the entrance of the generators. Each mark to pipe feeds all of these amazing generators in here. Oh, I forgot how many. Uh, 26 uh, full time and one is making only 13.43 fuel so that's what we're making okay we're consuming all that fuel so we get 26 generators working full time and one of them is making only 13.43 fuel everything in here all the pipes are marked too I have to step stop the production about three times because three times I run out of materials and wait for those dimensional containers to fill up again yeah amazing I know missing motors rubber plastic in case beams just about everything now this is the last one that I placed it's filled up so we have buffers of fuel at the exit as well you already know how I'm doing these guys so it's nice and thin. Uh, we run on berries for like half of the build. I've been checking it from time to time. Now it's stable. It used to be around here. We're recharging our berries. If I wouldn't have, have had them, 
I wouldn't have been able to complete all this. So now let me connect all this. I don't know how many are. 27. 81 generators. And I'll be right back with you, I guess. And finally, the last connection has been made. Let's look at this. Yeah, it went pretty high. It went pretty high. So, started from 5,600. We have 25,600. A bunch. A bunch, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch. Well, I'll take you. Oh, I got a bunch. It's very good. I have a question. What? Can you explain what a temple is? A temple is a vessel body, each a knot in our tapestry. Temples are root, vein, and organ. Temples are our shallow bones and our shallow windows. I think I understand, but how do you maintain them? The builder blood grows and kills and distributes. Like fungus in a forest. Like fungus in a forest. Shit, I missed it. So, this is gonna be it for this build. Uh, now, I know you're eager to see more for you. It's been something like 3 minutes. For me, it's been a lot more. Something like 4 hours, 3 hours, and something. So, pretty tired in here. We're gonna get back to our base and take a look at what we have to build next. I really wanna start making those crystal oscillators, those computers, and hairs. After that, we're gonna have to run around the map, finding, uh, putting down those radar towers, and uh, we're gonna grab, I don't know, uh, a bunch of sulfur, a bunch of coal, bring them in here, put a million assemblers down, make a bunch of compacted coal, and two options. Either wait for the blenders and make it straight into turbo fuel and containers, or pass everything to refineries and turn it into turbo fuel. But passage with refineries is going to be a lot more difficult because I'll have to add basically what I deleted right now the lifts and the inputs for the final 13, 14 refineries on each batch and I really don't want to do it. So yeah. Well guys, see you guys back at the base. Well I'll tell you one thing. I can barely wait to have uh the hover back. Okay, because building like this, even if I have the jetpack it's been a try. A lot of jumping around. Didn't enjoy it one bit. Okay, can I put down a few manufacturers? That's that's the idea. Let's see. Production manufacturer. Uh, well, apparently we can. Perfect. Let's take a look at this. Uh, specials first. Why not? Specials means the stuff that we need for the phase three. Let's. See. So we're gonna need this. Piece. Okay, we get the rubber enough. We get those enough. Those motors are not enough. We're making five. I don't want to connect it to their production. I want to have one per minute. It's kind of low. So let's say two. How much smart plating are we doing here? Uh, are you the guy responsible? Or is it? This guy is responsible for smart. We're making eight per minute. Well, let's say we're going to use four. You know, to make these guys in here. Is the other guy taking smart plating as well? I don't think. No, he's taking automated wire. We're gonna take it. So we're gonna take four. That means we can have two of these. Let me grab some shards. Twenty-five on me, please. Grab that one as well. Perfect. Uh, so we said two per minute, okay. Rubber, ain't gonna be an issue, it's passing right through here. 
modes, we're going to need to build four motors. And we have the four smart plating. So I'm just copy the recipe. Come in here. I don't know. I'm uh, going to have a box in here. So we're going to need in here two manufacturers. Okay. One of them is going to be right in here. Some of the line. Uh, ain't going to use the blueprint. Only three inputs is very good. It's enough. Okay. Actually, now that I think about it, I don't want to turn the exit from one of those guys. I'll prefer to get that one, grab it, and put it in here with a straight lift. That means uh, my manufacturers will have to be aligned in there. So let's just do it like that. Even uh, if I'm going to have these boxes more in the front. Sorry, just nesting. Okay. This is it. In stone, mister. It's set in stone. We're gonna need smart plating. So it's gonna be one split and another split for the rubber. Rubber is coming from up top. Let's take care of the rubber first. It's only 15 per minute, I believe. Yeah. So, mark one is gonna be more than enough. And we're gonna need a splitter. Uh, so that one is coming from there. Let's put it in here. No, too close. Gotta be like in here. Is it good? Yes. Is it a line? Yes. Uh, we're gonna connect to that in there, or to this one, to that one, because more beautiful, okay? So lift will come on that line, I think it's gonna be just fine, perfect. So this is gonna be the lift for that connection, that connection is gonna come, let's say, into the next connection, there. or even at exit. In here, I think it's straight. Is it now? Perfect. That's gonna be the entrance for the smart plate. And now we have to take care of four models. Now that means assemblers in here. I'm gonna put it in the back and spread it between those two. So let's put them in here. Let's see. Models, please. Uh, only four per minute. Thank you. More than enough. 8 rotos, 8 stainless, good stuff. So, we're gonna need a splitter. It's not properly aligned, BAG, how should we do this? No. I guess there's only one way to do it. No similar. Making formal. Now this boy will need 8 rotors and 8 stickers. Let's see what we can do about that. Uh, yeah, let's put one of them. This guy aligned. That guy next to it. Perfect. So, rotors and stickers. What will it take? That one or that one? I don't want to play with the wire, okay? The wire is too complex, I will have to bring it, and it's exactly 8. All the way from there, put modify capper, put constructors, no, I'll just take the quick wire from there, bring it up here, and drop it. Perfect. Pipes come from behind. Now, for the rotors, it's gonna be exactly the same story. Unfortunately, I, I, I was pretty certain that you can do rovers with quickware. Shit. Well, pretty cannot. Uh, let me look a little at the recipes. So, rover. Yeah. 
we didn't unlock stuff magics. Alternates. But apparently these are the only recipes. What about molds? Can I make them in a manufacturer or something? Yeah, well. Doesn't help me a lot. Okay, good stuff. We need all eight rollers, right? Uh, pipes. Because in the back. And somewhere. We need eight. So we're gonna need a lot more than this. We need two of these guys. And we're gonna need a bunch of wire. Amazing. Uh, okay, so you're gonna make four. Uh, copy, please. Paste. Give me a merger. Good, so we're gonna need in here 48 wires. Now, if I'm bringing the wires. Let's do it with the wires, you know. Uh, this guy. Ah, I need to. Perfect. Here we are. Put in another merging. You're gonna make four. Uh, is the other one set on fire? No. So four, four. This guy is set on fire. This guy is set on fire. So we're gonna have 48 wires. And we're gonna have another 64. One, two. Perfect. Wires. So, the wires, I'm guessing they're gonna come on the same build. Well, not exactly. But another build next to this one, or through the back. Most likely through the back. Let's see, how is the setup behind here? Pretty bad. Okay, we'll have to think about that. And for the pipe, which, how much we're gonna need? So, 16 between these two and another 24. So, that's 40 pipes. Uh, we already have some lazy pipe, which passing through. So, let's do that really fast. So, let's not forget the wires coming from. Yes, okay. We're gonna make it like this. Up this day. I don't know still if I wanna bring the wire from this side or from the other side. So I will not put the other splitters. Nevertheless, we can place already this split. That one is a mark one is gonna become a mark two right about now. I think I should have made it a mark whatever higher. But it is how does it look better? Like that? Yeah, that will give me enough place. We said we have in here 100 though. Okay, so this one for sure is gonna be a mark two in here. Uh, let me make this one mark free. Done. I don't know how I'm gonna put the wires, but that's a totally different story, you know. Come here. One action. Uh, let's put it in here. Because I want to fill up with the pipes. Perfect. When I will decide exactly on what part I should bring the pipes, we'll have the motors in here. Uh, the smart plating is coming from over there. We're gonna need the rubber. Rubber is coming from there. Okay. So we only need one entry, which is gonna have to be at the top again. Okay. Mark one, 
to both of those uh, 15 rubber was per minute? Yeah, that's nothing. Okay, now I gotta put a mark, one, from here, in there somewhere. So let me lift it up because I don't know where it has to be. And then make my way up in here. Uh, apparently this one will be good in here. Uh, I want you in there, baby. Zoop this. Good stuff. So, we have the rubber. We have almost the smart plating. The rubber is coming in. These guys, they have those. No power. What do you mean no power? Oh yeah, because these guys are not power. Good stuff. This guys have power. They should have some pipage inside. And they do. Now, how much wire did I send? One, one, two? Wow. How should they bring that? Let me try and bring it on the inside here. Now, I'm not sure I want to have the same setup in here. I don't want to put them on the same construction. So I'll have to come in front with that build, for sure. Excuse me. Okay, let's work backwards. Uh, align yourself with that, please. Why? One, one, two. Four of these. So this one gotta make only 22. And this will be the first engine point. It's gonna be the first one to get fuel. I see that I have some space through here. So I'm gonna come with it through there. With the ingots, I mean. How many ingots? 60. 50 something. Let's keep the mark too, just move it better. No. Okay, so 15 inch? Yeah, 45. Plus whatever this I this guy is gonna eat. So it's gonna be 56. Let's grab the mark belt and go with it in here. No. Yes. Uh, 56. Now, if I remember correctly, having here two of them not work. Exactly. So, here we are. Uh, 30? And another 26. So, that means that this boy will have to make 56 more in here. One twenty. One seventy-six. Perfect. And I can take a splitter. Smart one. Put it I don't know. Let's align it somehow so that we have something straight. Send everything there into the red overflow. I need a mark to build. Connect it to that. Okay, so my overflow from that, which means those 56, will go through here. Life is gonna be just beautiful. At some point, this boys will filled up here and we will have all the necessary wire that we need which is gonna come into that mark 2 lazy belt all the way in the back into those assemblers we're gonna have the rotors we're gonna have in here the stators those will give me 
in here my four models per minute and when I'm gonna have those four models per minute I'm gonna connect those smart fittings because if not and I connect them right now guess what's gonna happen I'm not gonna sync them anymore and those are very good points for me I need those points in my life I need to unlock stuff so that's exactly what's gonna happen let's take care of the exit side now so need the merger going around that way what is going on I'm sleeping give me one of those Here we are, we just solved the issue with the module ages. We're gonna make two per minute. Now are gonna be are they gonna be enough? No, we need more. So we're gonna do the right thing and put in here a few summer sloops in each one of them. Four in here, four in here, we'll have to go hunt for some more at some point, but it's fine. Uh, no wires yet? Oh yeah, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming. The wires are coming, the wires are coming, good. Well, in that case, I think we can already connect that smart plating. We said we're gonna take the second, this guy. You see? All of them are getting seeing. I don't even know how many points I have right now, but it's fine. I don't know if this is going to be straight or not, Mr. Bird. Hey, it is what it is. Now, that is straight, Mr. I swear, because I put that on a straight. And it doesn't touch anything. What do you think about that? Um, Grab two of those. Grab two of those. Because I don't need them on me. Perfect. Good stuff. Have we built anything yet? Well, we have some models and some status in here. I think this way will start producing soon enough. You can keep those as well. Be happy about it. We'll have our models, which in turn will give us those modular engines. Sorry, guys. Too tired. Too tired. Uh, lazy. Those pipes are kind of lazy. Oh, this one uh, is gonna get filled up, and then the other one is gonna be fine. It's still struggling with the wire, but it's normal because guess what? 500 is a stack bridge. I could put 500 into this, 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 and that, but. Don't feel like doing it. Let it fill up by itself. Work. Okay. Uh, we fixed these guys. So we can delete this boy. Now, this other guy here. We're gonna need a hundred of this. Circuit boards, heaviest computers, and automated wire. Five per minute. So if I wanna make two, I'm gonna need ten automated wire. I don't remember how much we're making, so let's take a pick. We're making 10. I would still like to sing some. So I think we're gonna pick from this box only like 5. I don't know if it's gonna be enough. Long run, long time. You know? I don't know. Yeah, we're gonna make only one summer sloop that and we're gonna have to adapt the control units by this guy. So we're gonna have to build assembly lines basically for all of this stuff. Computers, heavies and second parts. I'm not sure I wanna make for our needs as well. I would like to have a dedicated line for this guy. That means only the automated wiring is going to get grabbed from there. But, you know, 
this boy is gonna live in here and he's gonna make I don't know, a second noise for this boy and for the computers as well. The computers I think they're done in a manufacturer. Come on, stay here. So, Caterium computer. Oh, looks just amazing. Caterium laptop, rubber laptop. Yeah, well, that one's cool as well, but I don't want to deal with the cable. So, that one looks really good for me at this point. We need two computers per minute. So, two per minute. We get that, we get that. We need eight second points. Plus another five. 13. Something easy for BAJ, please. That one sounds really easy. 13. Amazing. We get the plastic and the quick wire up top. So the circuit boards are fixed. For this boy, we cool. Uh, we need heavies. How many were they? One. I don't want to see any screws. Oh my god, screws all over the place. This one looks the simplest between you and I. Yep, I'm gonna go with that. One. Nasty rates in there. Nasty, nasty, everything is nasty. So, concrete, we got a bunch in the back in there. Uh, steel pipes, we got a bunch in the back in there. In case beams, we got a bunch in the back in there. Mother frames, we don't have a bunch in there, but it is what it is. Didn't meant to do that. Apparently, we're gonna have to make a modular frames. Uh, heavies in here, at least one per minute, for this guy. I'm gonna scooch it the belt through here. Oh! Maybe a lie. We have a bunch in here. We're not sinking them. So, where are those module frames being used? In here. How many do you use, Mr. Mr. Twister? 2.5. Oh, and I'm making 5, I believe. And it splits in 2.5 for that guy. And the rest are being stuck into the box in there. Well, uh, smart splitter. Any? Ahead, overflow. Thank you. Um, yep. That one just have been, has been fixed. Where are the encased bits? Where's the concrete? The concrete is in here. I can take it from there. Pipes are in here. I can take them from here. Encased beams are in here. I'm not getting synced yet. They are going in there. And that's about it. I don't see. Yep. So that one could go in theory or make it double, you know. I want to put the priority in this side. So let's make that one go away. Uh, any ahead of oh, oh. that's been fixed. Okay, so let's plant our manufacturer real fast in here. We said we needed one lousy. In case for him. one, Mister one. That's all I need for it. one. Okay, okay. Good stuff. Uh, my friends, then I need to pick from this line. Kind of close. Done. Oh, uh, in case beams. Done. Steel pipe and concrete. Concrete first. Steel 
the pipe. Yeah, it's not gonna be nice, is it? No, it ain't. Um, come with it in here and in. And you, <sighs> we have to come in here. But a little up. And then drop in here. Amazing. Power with you, mister. In case they're going, those are going. The concrete is slowly making its way. Everything gets child, right? So we don't really care about it. We're gonna have one lousy moderate from it. I'm not gonna summon this one. This one, it's only for death production. So it is what it is. I need to go with it in there. I don't know yet where I want to bring it. So, do we have any? Yes, we have, we have, we have. Wait, what are you doing here? One adaptive control unit. Okay, so, you're gonna need those and those. I feel like... I'm gonna put it in the same way. And put... Leave that space empty, like, and fill it up in here. So let's try and do that. Okay. We're gonna have to delete this. It is what it is. We are adapting. Come on, go away. We're gonna put it in here. You are gonna be the end. You're gonna be with one of those. And you're gonna have some four summer sleeps inside of it. Yeah. We're gonna make two adaptive control units. Now, this boy. What are you doing? You can go away, mister. We're gonna need another one of these who's making two computers per minute. So, copy the rest of the down. Get up top of here. Put it in there. All lined, if I may. Like that. Thank you. Paste the rest of it. We're gonna need to bring two of those, I believe. Or one summer sloop like that. Let's see. It's not summer sloop. It's like that. So we need 13 circuit boards. Okay. So we'll have the circuit boards. Apparently, we already have some of those heavies in here. Amazing. I don't know how it happened. Uh, we're gonna need the computers which are gonna poop off from this guy. Uh, rubber. Did we bring the rubber? It says to Well, what happened? Oh, no power. Well, why didn't you sit? Uh, running out of power balls in here, guys. Um, hmm? Yeah, we're gonna have our two computers. They're gonna come in here. Those circuit boards, five of them are coming in here. And we're gonna have our two of those. As soon as I put five of those inside. So, five for those inside here. I don't even know where they are. They're in there. So, I need to bring them in here. Basically, from this system. Well, at this point. Yeah, you see? This is really interesting. So at this point, that is the overflow. So instead of having in there overflow, we're gonna do it a little different. We're gonna put in there that one going like that, and in here that one going like that. That will be my overflow. Get it. So to the right is the overflow because I still want to sink. And to the left, it's any. That means they're gonna go into these boxes, which I filled up by the way. And the overflow is gonna continue to get sink. Like intended. Perfect. And we're gonna take five of those and bring them in here. Let's see how that straight does. Ah, let's make up the default. Straight in. And we are all set. 
Oh my god, you're a little dragon, aren't you? Making all those modules and just for us, mister. Yeah. What are you doing here? Well, you don't have the modes. Why not? Uh, where the heck in there? Where the Abbey is? It, oh, it's gonna take a million years. Okay. Oh, and that is. Let me help you guys a little. Is this guy still missing something here, or is just lazy? He's missing the stators. We got a problem with the stators. We got a problem with the stators because those are being made in there, and these boys in here haven't filled up with wire. Because this guy's taking 500, and it's gonna be an eternity until it's gonna fill up. And the rest is divided between this one and this other one. So if you have, for example, for 60 on the belt, okay, 60, let's say. 30 are going in there, and 30 in there. 59 go into this one, and the other one are divided between those two. And it's gonna take a millennia to fill them up. So, we're gonna do the right thing. Uh, one, two, three, four. I'm gonna fill them up. Because I want this one to produce. Uh, the wire that I just pulled off from the dimension is gonna be filled up from their box. In there. And life is gonna be just beautiful. Because we have another production that is taking care of this stuff for us. So now we're gonna start building those theaters how we should. Filled up with pipes, filled up with pipes. Gotta love it. Uh, we have those incoming. Uh, let's help this boy a little because I saw 10 moles on me. Okay, perfect. Let's see. Are you guys like balanced? Of some sort? We're talking about these guys. No, they they barely have the covering. Let's see here. Yeah, as expected. So that guy get filled up. Now this one is barely getting any. Um, so 11. And 45, 56. Well, this doesn't look like a 56 belt to me, mister. What happened here? Uh, I'm gonna have to troubleshoot this. I got one which is yellow. That one which I put on 26, guess what? I forget to start. Yeah. Welcome to the channel. My name is BG and I always do stupid mistakes. What it is? What it is? Good thing we are producing a bunch more R. Now that guy is clogged. It's gonna be fixed at some point after a millennia, don't you worry about it. Well, after 5 hours of struggles. BAG managed to put 20,000 power into the system and made the somewhat working magic in here which will give us the module engines and also uh, I want the line of this can I please have them are gonna give us the adaptive control units oh I think it's a line of that one if it ain't it is. Perfect. Do we have at least one lousy? Oh my god, we got a bunch. Well, guess what? Maybe to the next one, we'll be able to complete the phase three. Hmm, gotta look. Gotta look. Now, of course, into the next one, we will have to do some other stuff. I don't like those noises. When the summer look like that, they make a bunch of ugly noises. I don't like that. Um, we're gonna have to make some computers for ourselves in here. Because at this point, we are making the circuit boards in here. Ignore that, it's for the excess. Now it ain't gonna get anything. If at some point we have some excess in here because it's a lot of point something something, He's gonna get some inside of it. 
and get in there in the production. But ignore it. Otherwise. It's working just fine. So in here we're making 875. I see that that guy didn't get filled up. Well, it's fine. We will need a few computers. Well, the box for computers, I think, is this game. Let's see. Yep. No, I don't know. I don't remember. I think so. It's written on the front PNG. It's enough to look at it. Yep. So, we're gonna do exactly what we did in the other side. But we don't have the space to put a manufacturing here. So, we're gonna have to do it this a little. Uh, a little different. Up top in there, grabbing some of those. Or in the back, still grabbing some of those and the products up top. I don't know how I wanna do this. It's gonna be a chore. It's gonna look nasty. But it is what it is. We're gonna have to adapt. This computer that we're gonna make in here is gonna be oh, two, one per minute, only to have some computers in there just to have enough in stock to build i don't know what exactly is going to take those computers but something is going to take them we have 58 in stock at this point uh, if i dump them in the box they're going to be uploaded and it's fine so guys i feel like we achieved a bunch today uh, i thought that one was you know good stuff uh we made twenty thousand power okay we have in here production of one <laughs> heavy material frame per minute we have in here production of i don't even remember how many modular engines and we have in here production of two adaptive control units per minute that means that in 50 minutes we're gonna be able to send up the phase free uh, I don't know exactly what that one is gonna open for us. I feel like we haven't to uh, send up all the milestones in here because we don't have the materials. We still have to build for ourselves computers, heavy material frames, and oh, that's about it. Oh, crystal assets. Forget about you. Forget about you. You gotta be made. So into the next episode. I think, I think we're gonna take care of that. Or I'll show you what I did. What do you think? Should we do it together? Or just me? Look, what, look, my own, what I did. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments. Nevertheless, episode long enough. Guys, thank you so much for being here for watching this. If you like it, don't forget to smash the like button for our little friend here. Oh my god, look at this. Look at this. I mean, isn't this the best friend ever? It is! I swear it is. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and if you want to see more, and if you want to help me. And if by any chance you want to support my dream of becoming a full time content creator, you can do that by grabbing a source of an amazing membership. Thank you again. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye now.